Good evening everyone and welcome to Tracy's Cakes. My name is Tracy Mann and this evening I'm going to be doing a demonstration on some cupcake for Christmas, cupcakes for Christmas. So we're going to have a look at some different cupcake ideas um, which we're going to be piping, we're going to do some painting, we're going to do some all sorts of different things and we're going to put them together over the course of the next hour and a half to two hours depending on how fast we work. Um, it's very cold, dark and horrible outside so I hope that we're going to be able to provide you with some inspiration for Christmas this year. So I'm not here on my own. I have the lovely Kelly with me. Hi, sorry, long pause. She, long pause. She was looking at what she was doing well, then. I had, <laughs> what uh, what does that I mean? where we are. You said not let shop, but I've ended up on let shop. Page. No, we're on our normal Facebook page. Yeah. You're going to find it? Yeah. yeah, she's found it now. Okay, that's fine. Hello, she's, everyone. <laughs> Kelly's found it now. So uh, we are streaming live on YouTube. We are also um, streaming on on this page here two places youtube and here so if you are struggling at all with facebook this evening do crow across to the youtube channel and follow it on there having said that last time we did that it decided to play up on youtube so there we go so it just depends on what um what it feels like what the wi-fi feels like i think more than anything else so we're going to get started in a minute with some cupcake ideas so i've been showing lots of these over the last few weeks um some of the ideas you will have seen before some of them you will not have seen before we like to do something different every time we go live but we aim to make I don't know we're not sure are we we've, we've got a plan we always talk about our dodgy plans but we do actually have a plan this evening and we're going to give it a go and see how we get on and see how time runs away with us or not as the case may be um if you do want to place any orders during the course of the live the address is up there now which is tracyscakes.co.uk but kelly will also put some links up as we go on any of the products so if you see anything you would like kelly or we like talk about kelly will put a link up for you and you are able then to order so we are using Royal Mail and of course there are many strikes at the moment so we are getting very close to the cutoff point now for Christmas for getting your stuff there in time. We already know that there's many orders that are still travelling their way through the system from last week so please just continue to be patient, we do appreciate it. I also have gifts that I'm waiting for and have not arrived yet so um, I feel your pain but please just hang on as best you can knowing that they are on their way. Um, we have sent everything out so um, please Please just hold on and wait as long as you possibly can. So we're going to get started now. We are going to be doing lots of cupcakes, aren't we, Kelly? Oh, yeah. Some of which are going to be pink. Oh, they're, they're themed on Mum's favourite thing. And they're themed on, on cupcake wreaths because Kelly was so entranced by my, my cupcake display on Saturday morning, weren't you, Kelly? Well, I just uh, said, what about a whole life of wreaths? A whole life on cupcake wreaths. I can't say no to that, can I? So we're going to be doing lots of cupcake. Well, they're not all wreaths, but anyway, lots no. of cupcake decorating tonight. We're going to create a pink set and we're going to create a traditional set so a set that is for christmas very traditional ish with some twists on various things and then a set that's all pink and sparkly and lovely so we're going to have two different sets hopefully in the end by the end of the evening so we're going to do um some of its cookies some of its chocolate so lots of other bits and pieces um for you to see and we'll work our way slowly through them and hopefully we will get through as many as we possibly can during the hour and a bit or however long it is that we're on here for um so we're going to start off by coloring our buttercream although i've got the wrong thing under the camera i've actually got the cocoa butter under the camera so we've got some buttercream here already i've had to microwave this one already because it is quite cold in here so we're going to dye this one up pink we're going to use color splash pink which is a gel which no doubt i will end up getting covered in in a minute because it's already got some on the lid so i'm going to grab some kitchen mold to stop that Right, my hands are already a funny colour today. Blue from earlier. Let me undo the lid. There we go. Right, we're going to pop that in there. Just a little bit like that. And we're going to use that again later on. There we go. Like so. And later on, we're going to make a darker pink for some of our decorations. So we're doing pink Christmas and traditional Christmas cupcakes tonight. So hopefully there'll be something in there for everybody bit of a mix to start with and we're going to do the cupcakes as we go along so we're going to make our decorations and then we're going to build that cupcake and then we'll move on to the next one and that's what we're going to do this evening rather than do all the decorations at the end i'm going to put a little bit more pink in because it's still a bit peachy at the moment and that's because we started on a yellow base so we're just going to add a little bit more there we go 
hopefully that should make it a bit pinker don't need loads of gel anyway so we'll just give that a mix through like so Oh good, some people have got their orders, I'm pleased yeah, about that. I just yeah. looked up and read the comments because, oh, it's a bit of a worry at the moment, to say the least. So, um, yeah, keep your, get your orders in as fast as possible, that's all I'm going to say. Right, so we've got that one and then we're going to mix up some green. So I'll put that there for a second. Oh, actually, I'll find the other bowl. All right, let's grab the other. Do I put my cocoa butter out first because it's in my way? Let's put that behind me. Okay, we'll grab some more buttercream. I'm going to come back on camera for a second. So I'm going to put this in the microwave because, again, it's very cold in here, isn't it, Kelly? Oh, definitely. Yeah. I've got thermals on, obviously top. Oh, we'll bring you woolen top, <laughs> big coat next to the heater. <laughs> I will be painting tomorrow afternoon at three o'clock on patchwork cutters. And I'll probably have my hat on then because I've... <laughs> I'll go through phases of painting with my hat on so I'll have my hat on tomorrow afternoon so be prepared for that one that's all I'm going to say just going to put my buttercream in ditchy for 10 seconds nothing more than that just to soften it up purely just because it is so cold there we go and I'll do it more than that because otherwise I'll end up melting the whole thing I definitely don't want to do that right that's better there we go let's go back under this one Right, so this one we're going to make green and we're going to use Colour Splash Leaf Green. So we're going to make this one a bit stronger. I don't know how much is left in here. Oh, fair amount. There we go. That was good. Only because I've got industrial supplies of this colour. So I want this one to be a bit darker because we're going more traditional with this one. Whereas the other one I want it to be a bit lighter. through and then one I'm going to put in a 1M nozzle and the other one I'm going to put in a Wilson 18 nozzle. I'm going to make that a little bit darker, it's not quite dark as I want it to be. Let's take that down. Right. So while I'm doing that, as I say, I will be live tomorrow at three o'clock on Patchwork Cutters Club. That's another free demonstration that's on Facebook. So I will be painting tomorrow afternoon. So if you can make it, great. If you can't make it, you will be able to watch it on Catch Up. You'll be able to go back and watch it in the evening. There we go. That's better. That's the colour that I want. Perfect. Right, okay. Let's get these into the bags, which I have prepared. Amazingly enough for me. So this is Wilton 18. So you can see it's kind of like a sort of a star nozzle. So we're going to pop that one and the green. Move that back a bit. I've just realised I've got my camera very low, which gives you an excellent view, but it makes it very difficult for me to see what I'm doing. I haven't mixed it 100 percent but that's fine. That doesn't matter. And move that one out of the way. Keep that for later. And then this one. We're going to put through the 1M nozzle. Okay, grab this. How much should we put in? We won't put it all in to start with. We'll just put in, put in half, shall we? So this is the 1M nozzle. Sorry, it's going off screen a little bit while I'm trying to sort it out. And then we'll twist it round and then you can see it's this one here. This is very common. Lots of people have this nozzle here. Okay, let's move that over there. So those are our two colours that we're going to use this evening. So that's those ready to go. Right, okay, let's get ourselves organised. So what are we going to start with, Kelly? That's a very good question, isn't it? Um, why don't we start with your favourite? No, we'll build towards my favourite. Do? <laughs> we'll start with the mini gonk. 
we're going to start with a gonk we're going to do a pink gonk so we have a new mini cookie cutter we've had the large gonk now we've got the mini one and we're going to do a pink one this evening as part of our pink set so we're going to have a look at that now so we'll pop our cupcake in there so this is our new little mini gonk there it is so we've already baked one. Oh, let's pick that one up. So we've already baked one earlier. You can see that it creates a bit of a mark underneath there, just like so. So there's his beard, there's his nose, feet, arms and hat. So nice and straightforward. And we are going to do him pink. So we're going to dye some of the sugar paste up pink. We're going to need some more pink later on. So we might as well get going with this. And we'll put that on a cupcake shortly. So there we go. Right, we'll give this a bit of a knead. Get it going. Let's get rid of bits on there. And then we won't need as much as that, actually. We'll take a bit out. We are going to need some for... Uh, let's just check what we're doing for this. Yeah, we'll just take a bit out of there. Right, OK. So... We're going to still stick fairly pastel for this bit. She says, no, my luck, I'll probably squidge a bit of gel out now and it'll be too dark. So let's just take a bit back. OK. So we're still using Colour Splash Pink. And we'll knead that through and see what we get. So we're going to bling it up a bit. We're going to go full pink on these this particular cupcake. So we've done the mini gonk so far. We've done it in blue and we've done it in red. And he looks like a wizard when he's done in blue. So he can also double up as Dumbledore, we decided. Or uh, Merlin. Or Merlin, yeah. So this one is just going to be a nice pink one. I did have a look online and I did see lots of pink ones. So they obviously exist. So we'll go down those lines. That's what I said. I said, what about pink gonk? Mum said, I don't think that exists. <laughs> there we go. Right. Let's give that a bit of a need to get that going. Okay, now I've just realised I need some royal icing, so let's just get myself set up for that. No, I've already done that. I've got okay. my pots here. I know, don't faint. I was organised. I was ready to spring up. I know you were. I'm just going to move that over there for a second. So we're going to set ourselves up with everything so that we've got all we need ready. So that would include the cocoa butter as well. Sorry. Kelly is just bringing over to me. Thank you very much. So we're going to get all the bits and pieces that we need set up in one go. Um, what do you need? Palette knife for the um, royal icing. Okay. And then we need a bag, another okay. bag. Thank you. It's like being a surgeon, isn't it, Kelly? You're running yeah. getting all Scarf this hole. stuff on me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's because we've been watching um, Call the Midwife. What's the big um, white gone? What big white? Cocoa butter white. It's there. I've got the pot still oh. on it. Well, I've not, I haven't got a lot of space, have I, tonight? No. So Because I've got stuff everywhere. What colours would you like? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Well, I've got a dish out. You need to consult our list. Ice Pink Sorbet is on our list somewhere. Right. Kelly is distracting me now. Sorry. She has appeared next to me. Right. OK, let's get this bag set up as well. So we're going to set up a bag with royal icing in it. So we've got one adapter. I'm just trying to find the top of it. There we go. OK, so we're going to pop that inside the bag like so i'm going to pop this nozzle on top with wilton three at the moment i'm not sure wilton three what whether we'll need wilton three or not but we'll put it on for a second and then i need you to move that because i've got to get in there sorry thank you there we go and then we will grab some royal icing this is everything we're going to need for our cupcakes tonight so once we've got everything set up then we can get going and get everything decorated so that's why we're doing all of this first so a little bit of royal icing in a bag don't need huge amounts of it just enough and i'm going to take another bit of royal icing and pop it into a pot and we're just going to add a tiny bit of water into there just to make a bit of a paste you're rummaging kelly what well, you well no i'm trying to find your colors red is next to me i can see it yeah i knew you'd be looking for that yeah, that's there so we'll give this a bit of a mix so we're going to make a glue so we can stick some of the bits and pieces to the some of the sugar paste to the Think cookie. That's it. I've left them there. Thank you. On the book. You're so organised, aren't you? Let's put that in there. Okay. All right. So we've got that. So we've got our royal icing. Let's set our cocoa butter up next. Let's get everything going. 
Right. Okay. So this is for our painting. So we're going to do a bit of everything tonight. I'm just going to straighten this camera up a bit because it's just gone a bit haywire here. Right. So this is a cocoa butter painting set up and just push that along there because it's gone the other way so in the middle of here we've got a tea light i'm going to light it now and then i'm going to put a metal paint palette on top of it like that so this is called a chrome food warmer you get them off amazon if you go onto amazon put in chrome food warmer you'll be able to find them on there the metal paint palettes that we do have in stock are part of our cocoa butter painting kit as well uh, which Kelly has linked for you. I'm looking for the cocoa butter, which is right in front of me. This is the cocoa butter. Our current cocoa butter supplies are dated for very late 2023, early 2024. So they've got plenty of sell-by date on them. And I'm just going to put a few little callets on there that will start to melt while I'm still talking. And then we're going to add our colours. So tonight we're going to be using Whisper Pink. Did you find Ice Pink Sorbet? Yes, you I did. did. So we're going to use Whisper Pink, which is a Sugar and Crumbs Wonder Dust. I'll show you what that looks like, which is a really nice colour. OK. And we have Iced Pink Sorbet. This is an edible art colour. Again, we do stock this. It's much more of a sort of candy pink colour than the Whisper Pink. We've also got white which i've got in sort of vast quantities so we won't show you that's the size the amount of white i've got <laughs> huge amounts of white and we've got red so this is sugar flare red so we're going to pop that on there as well like so and then we've got black i'm just taking these colors you've given me kelly i'm not 100 sure what i'm supposed well, to do they'll, with them they'll all. Come, come into play they're later. all going to come into play well, <laughs> And add a little look at what we've got going on. Tangerine. The nose. The nose, okay, right. That's for the nose. Pop that on there. A little bit of that. Done. Okay, so that gets us all set up there. So you can see that starting to melt. And we've got to hope that our candle is going to last all evening because we don't have another one here, Kelly. Just to let you know. <laughs> Oh goody, I knew you'd say that. Trying to look around at what I can do. I'll be outside trying to collect some stones together and start a fire. No, well, it's not so much starting the fire, it's keeping the fire going that's the problem. Right, okay, we are organised now, so our cocoa butter is set up. We have got, uh, I was going to put that there, we've got our royal icing, royal icing in a bag and our buttercream in a bag, which I hope is going to stay soft and not get too um cold while we're in here and we'll now start on our gnome so we can get Ooh. going on that so first cupcake we're going to do a mini gonk so we're going to roll out our pink so i said we're going to do some pink and some traditional cupcakes tonight so we're going to jump around a little bit with the designs as we go so we're just going to roll that out to start with so we don't need it to be too thin or thick really want either i'm going to put a little bit of icing sugar on the bottom just to stop it sticking there we go like so i'm going to take hold of our new mini gonk cookie cutter but before i do that i'm now looking for a plastic side scraper yeah i've got them all right can I've you got, got all of them how many do you want one she's passing me a plastic side scraper well, no, give me a... oh right okay thank you which has just been washed up so she's quickly drying it Brilliant, thank yeah. you very much. Right, so we're going to put this on top of a plastic side scraper. It'll make more sense in a minute. We're going to take our mini gonk cookie cutter. We're going to put that down on there and we're going to press down and give it a little wiggle, like so, to cut through, like that. And then we're going to take it and we're going to flip it upside down and we're going to just I'll go round my finger, actually, look at that magic. Go round like that. And then we're just going to press down on the outside edge of the cutter just to make sure we picked up the beard. So if you were doing these with royal icing, that's what the markings are for on the cookie. If you were doing it in sugar paste like we're going to show you this evening, then you need to do this to get the markings out. So we're going to pull this back very slowly. There it is. I'm going to try and remain tidy while I'm live. It might not work. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not going to happen, is it? Right, OK, we'll try and remain tidy. OK, so we're going to get some royal icing. We're just going to paint a little bit of royal icing onto our cookie, like so. And 
and then we're going to pop our little mini gonk onto our cookie there he goes like so right so far so good we're going to put you on there so we can see you a bit clearer okay so we are going to give him a nose and we're going to, he's going to have a nose that matches his hat kelly darker pink a little bit darker just so it stands out a bit okay he's going to end up with a bright pink nose well, he now might be really cold. he might be really cold let's assume he's very cold okay i'll put a tiny bit of pink in there just need some contrast if it comes out too red what we'll do is we'll um you can always it. paint over the top yeah exactly well we can add a bit more can't we yeah okay so we've made this a bit a bit more pink just so it stands out from his hat because we are doing a pink one tonight so we'll give that a bit of a mix through there we go that'll do okay so we need a little bit of water which we also have gosh i'm organized this evening and then we'll get a paintbrush okay that's where the organization just stopped right and then we'll just put a little bit on there on his nose we could just roll out a nose kind of freestyle i guess really so we'll pop that on there he's got a sort of a slightly purpley nose but he's fine and then we'll take hold of the pink again and we will just roll and make a bit of a brim on his hat like so there we go like so Okay. Right, let's get this ready. So I'm just rolling this out. Sorry, I've gone off screen. Didn't realise I was off screen then. Right, let's just do that. And we're going to cut the end off there. And then we'll just lay that across the little gonk like so. And then we'll just cut that out. I've managed to roll it in some black dust. So down the end there. So I'll have to bin this. Maybe bit. he's uh, been in the... Maybe he's put some charcoal in the... <laughs> I don't, I don't know. That. We're going to take the cutting Cold, wheel and we're just going to mark the little lines there for his hat, just going across there, like so. There we go. And then we can just take the same cutting wheel here and we'll just mark some little feet. So we just come across there and across there and some little arms going up there as well. Okay, so we've got some... I think there's something stuck in this wheel. There we go, that's better. Use the other side. Okay, so he's got his little feet there. Okay, all right. Then we're going to, now we can either do this with the cutting wheel, you can do it with the Dresden tool, we'll do it with the cutting wheels, we've got it in our hand. And we're just going to put the stripes that go down the hat of these gonks. We're gonna have them at a slight angle, like so. There we go, very sweet. Um, now, I was going to have a look at trying to do some effects here with the colour. So we're going to have a look at using, what should we use, Kelly? Ice, use pink, ice pink sorbet or, no, not that, ice pink sorbet oh. or I'm going to do it with cocoa butter or whisper pink. I thought you were going to whisper pink it. We're going to try and whisper pink it. No, it's okay. You do what you thought you were going to do. I thought you were just well, going to dust straight over the top. Sometimes. Well, I was going to, but I'm... It. Oh, I could do, I, I just didn't want dust everywhere. Okay, let's do ice pink sorbet and we'll mix that with, let's come on screen here, we'll mix that with the cocoa butter. So we're going to dip that into the cocoa butter like so. We just create a paint. And then I'll tell you what we could do. We could what? do every other one. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do every other one. Thing. See, we start coming up with these ideas when we go live, don't we, Cal? It's all unplanned. When it's it all, do you know, we've got the rough sketch and our sketches are pretty ropey. And then when we go live, we start going, oh, we could do this. Oh, we could do that. And then we start changing it. So let's put a bit of a stripe going on on the mini gonk. Let's turn it around this way. And just. And actually, I've noticed as well, some of these lines, they're double lined. Have you noticed that, Kelly? What do you mean double? -lined? So they've got they've got another smaller line next to it. Oh, yeah like that someone's been staring at gonks for a bit too long yeah me opinion. i need to get out more there we go so they're sort of 
They're quite detailed actually, they're more detailed than I thought they were. Till I started studying them in my spare time, because I need to get out more. You see, that's better. You wouldn't be able to see any difference, Kelly, I know, but I can. And then we'll give the gonk some ice pink sorbet shoes to match his hat. So we'll go in and do that as well. Very, very nice. And then we will go full beard now. Although I put Wilton 3 in there, I don't know whether it's going to be too thick. I think it may well be. So what I might do is play Hunt the Piping Nozzle just for a second. See if I can find... What's that what I want? What's that? No, that's a Wilton 3 as well. Okay, well, we'll try Wilton 3 and see how we go. So we're going to start under his nose and we're going to bring his beard down following the line all the way to the top like so and the same on the other side a little bit of a wiggle as you go won't do it any harm there we go okay like so and then we can go over it again so we can thicken that beard up a bit so he's got a bit of a full-on beard. There we go. Okay. And then we can add some snowflakes. So we've got these little sprinkles here, little sprinkly snowflakes, which we've been using on literally everything. And if we just put on a few little dots here and there, let's. we don't need to put on too many. Let's put on three to start with, see how we get on with three. So we've got one, two, and then this one here, three. There we go. And we've made our little pink gonk. So that's Aww. the very first decoration that we've made this evening. So I'm going to just hold that up so you can see it like so. There we go. There's our little gonk. He's very sweet. Right, let's get him on a cupcake. That's what we're here for, aren't we? So let's put some of the pink icing down for him because he's part of our pink collection. Yeah. So we've got lots of different collections tonight. I'm sure he's pink or is he white? Mm -hmm. Check the sheet. No, it's too late now. I've done pink. Right. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, he should have been white. Oh, well, he's pink now. <laughs> Don't question me, Kelly. <laughs> I can't read my own writing. If you look at the sheet, oh, I've lost the sheet now. Where's it White. Gone? Is it meant to be white? Well, but then you've written pink. Why is the sheet over there? Don't know. Here you go. I need that in front of me. Well, it says white and then it says pink. So, yeah, I know. Well, I was obviously confused. Which doesn't take much, does it? There we go. Right, let's grab some of the icing. So we've got the 1M nozzle here and we're going to do a classic swirl. We're going to go all the way around. Channeling Mr Whippy. Channeling Mr Whippy. Absolutely. There we go. All right. So that's our first one. We're going to put our little gonk on top. Where should we put him? Let's put him like that. So he's, there we go. So he's sitting on our cupcake. And then we will take some more snowflakes, which I've moved. And uh, we will chuck them about. Put some <laughs> snow. We won't chuck him about. We will put some snowflakes on while the buttercream's still soft. This is why we're going to decorate them as we go along. So we can create lots of different ones tonight. And then you've got lots of ideas, haven't you? But this is our part of our pink collection tonight. So he's the first one of that collection. We're going full on cute cupcakes tonight. So hopefully there'll be some ideas in there for all of you. So that's our little gonk in pink. Oh, he's you actually... what you should do, finishing what? sparkle. Oh, OK, all right. We're going to put finishing sparkle on it. Right, finishing sparkle. We've got some of that. What well, I'm worried about is the finishing sparkle. Why don't you do finishing sparkle at the end? Yeah, good plan, because otherwise finishing sparkle is going to be on, I just realized, yeah, on everything. The minute I get that out, it'll be on everything. So what about white corrals? Or is that going too far? I think we're going too far, though, oh, Kelly, sorry. on this one. That's OK, don't just, worry. So excited. <laughs> OK, so that's the mini gong. So that's cupcake number one. So we'll move that one out of the way. Um, we will move on to our next instalment of exciting cupcakes. So um, with this, uh, what we're doing this evening, some of the cupcakes will come together very quickly. Some of them will take a little bit longer than others. So just bear with us as we sort of work our way through them. That's quite a quick one to do. So say if you need to do a box of cupcakes. I think these are great. Then. I think these are they would look nice as like a tape, like even a dessert or something. I don't know. I just think they look really sweet. You could sweet. have gonk trifle. 
You that is such a good idea, like a gonk trifle. So you make your trifle and put your gonks on top. Or, you know, <laughs> what about doing a Yule log, but you have gonks going down the side of it? Yeah, something along those lines. But you could certainly use these cookies. And the thing is, well, because they're edible, they're really nice. You can just take them off and eat them. So there you go. That's a good start, isn't it? So that's cupcake number one done and out the way. So I'm just going to, I'm looking for the spray. What have I done with that? You have it on your side. Did I? Yeah. I'll probably put it away while I was cleaning up. Oh, well. We'll give this a bit of a wipe down to start with okay so let's move on the next thing we're going to do we're going to do a painted one now so we're going to do one of these baubles so this is our bauble mold it's a really nice mold we haven't actually had time to show it much this year so we're now going to be having a go at it here so you've got four different patterns going to turn them over you can see the ones that we've made and we've made them in white chocolate and we're going to paint one in pink which is going to be this one here which is a snowflake and we've got one over here from earlier there we go and it's got a little white snowflake on the top of it there we go like so i'm going to introduce another color as well and that is wonder dust bright gold which is another really nice color we're going to just pop that on there so i've made these chocolates earlier using calabao chocolate so calabao chocolate looks like this it's a belgium chocolate now this year we've not been able to get the smaller bags even though that was a smaller bag it's the only one in existence um we've had to buy in 10 kilo bags and we've been weighing them up into 500 gram bags so that people can have the opportunity to have the chocolate this year so if you want to order any of the chocolate on our website you'll find it's in 500 gram bags okay um, which will be enough to do lots of decorations. I've just cleaned my brush up there. And we're going to do this in iced pink sorbet, which is this colour here, my lovely candy pink colour. And we're going to stick a little bit of white in it just to make sure it's a, a little bit brighter than this. Opaque. Mm, opaque, thank you, Not Kelly. Brighter. Opaque. brighter would indicate that you've added yellow to it. Okay, well, I haven't <laughs> added yellow to it, Kelly. Right, now I'm holding it in... Um, on a piece of kitchen roll. And the reason I'm doing that is because if I hold it in my hand, it will melt and we don't want that to happen. So I'm going to just hold it in the kitchen roll. Paper towel, if you're watching anywhere else. Okay. And we just go round like so. So you can pick whichever ones of these that you like. You can paint them up any colour. They're a good one to make up a bunch and then get kids to paint them yeah you can use them on the desserts at christmas how about that yeah this one could be used on a chocolate roulade maybe oh, we like chocolate roulade don't we you know what we haven't had this year oh no go on yule log oh god we haven't have we oh. that's because it's a dangerous game what happens is it says it's got <laughs> it's also a dangerous game as to who over who gets the end piece oh, that's the problem it's the end bit but it's also within two days it's gone in our family mm, yeah we won't get one because it's dangerous right I, I saw them in the supermarket the other day and thought mm, maybe i'll get one for myself but then i thought if anyone sees that in the cupboard they're gonna have a bit of it yeah you've lost it okay so that's fairly good coverage on the first go so cocoa butter takes sort of one to two minutes to dry it's very quick it doesn't take very long at all right let's switch over to paintbrush number one i should have made a comment about the paintbrushes so we sell sets of five um, paint brushes in a set this is um, they've all different numbers on them the smaller they are the thinner the paintbrush and that's how I teach my classes as well so we refer back to these brushes and then people know which brush to pick up so this is currently paintbrush number one um, we're going to just make up some white paint and we're going to paint the staff a um, starfish snowflake on here okay Right, so again, the pattern is all there for you. We just hold it up a little bit. What isn't there for you is lumps of white, so we'll get rid of those and then just follow the pattern that's on here. Everything about this um, paint just reeks of please put part sparkle all over me, doesn't it, Kelly? Oh, yeah. Okay, so we'll just follow that down. Turn it round, make sure you can get to it, don't struggle, just turn it round, make life a bit easier for yourself. Turn it round again, there we 
go. See, that deserves finishing sparkle, I think, because it's, Everything it's deserves well, it's a snowflake, isn't it? So I think really that has to have a little bit of sparkle on there. We should leave that to dry for a second. What I am going to do while that's drying is just tidy up the sides a little bit. I'm going to get a smaller brush, pick up some of the pink and just push that into the sides around the outside edge of the snow um, of the snowflake. In fact, what I could do if I use neat ice pink sorbet, so no white in it at all, I can go right into the edges of this and make it look a little bit darker, which will make the snowflake stand out more. If I paint that round, I'll make that look a little bit 3D. Should do. Is it coming out on camera that looks 3D? Hopefully you can see I'll it. I'll tell you in a minute. Come round there. So I'll bring that out. And round this way. like so. Blend that out a little bit. Okay, so we're going to put some finishing sparkle on here. We're not going to worry about the board because I've got some kitchen roll down so we can actually do this. So this is a pump um, dispenser with some edible glitter in it. So I'm just going to hopefully fire it up at the there we go. If I get in nice and close, I can get a little bit of glitter on top of the sparkle. Now, on top of the snowflake. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is just pipe, uh, paint the top part. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab some gold. So this is Wonder Dust Bright Gold, which is another colour we sell. So we do sell lots of the Wonder Dust. We sell about five of them. They're the ones that we use for projects, so you'll see them in action over the last few weeks. And we'll put that over the top there, like so. So we'll just get that painted. And it's quite a nice colour for doing things like this. See how quick and easy that is? It's not difficult to do particularly. Let me hold that up. Okay, it's got a little bit of a sparkle about it. Okay, now we're going to put that straight onto a cupcake. I'll have to consult my plan to see what I'm meant to be doing with this one. Right, I need a cupcake. I can't reach them. All right, I'll grab one. Yep, okay. Right, let's grab another one. So we're making these up as we go along. The cupcakes and the live. <laughs> as always. As always. Okay, and we're going to pop this on here. So we put on some buttercream just to stop the cakes drying out right around the edges like so white yeah well it's not it's pink because i haven't made any white up so we're going pink and no, it's all pink okay pink as we can get kelly did you forget yeah yeah okay but that's okay right so we're going to do another classic swirl like that and we're going to take our little bauble let's turn it around that way we're going to put that on there like so then we're going to get our sprinkles back out again and we're going to put our little snowflakes on just to match the pink bauble there so we'll put that on the other colour we've been doing with background this year has been navy blue and I've got some examples that you can have a look at later on with that so you'll see what they look like so they look very nice and also we've been using the white perels which is another one that we use a lot of for things like snow globes um, and if you can put some of those on there as well that's often sort of looks a little bit like snow it's quite pretty um, so you can see that one there all right so that's the second one of our cupcakes so this one is a chocolate bauble which we painted in ice pink sorbet and white a little bit finishing sparkle on the top there you can see it glittering and then we've used our snowflakes again and a few white perels 
and that's going to be another one for our pink collection, which we call them, Kelly. <laughs> so that's another idea for you for cupcakes. So I'll put that down. And we will move these out the way. I'll keep putting the lids back on the sprinkles because I'm rather good at knocking yeah. things over. So I'm not going to tempt fate. I'm going to make sure that we actually don't end up knocking these over. Right, okay, back on to more of the pink. We are going to do... What did we say we were going to do? Snowman. Now I've got one of that. Okay, so we've done that one. Let's move this one out of the way into our little pink section. So we'll bring these all back in at the end so you'll be able to see them all together. So if you are joining us later on and you suddenly think, what's she doing? Uh, we will show you at the end. Right, so for this one, we're going, he's going to also be part of our pink collection. Um, but I think actually we'll do the glove first because I think that will be... Uh, actually both of them at the same time would be absolutely fine so we've got our pink but what we'll do is we're going to make it a little bit stronger this time just a little bit do we make a stronger pink hat or should we paint it actually i could paint it i think i might paint it and then we stay on the same color Why palette don't you shimmer pink it? i'm going to shimmer pink it kelly that's what i'm going to do with my life i'm going to shimmer pink it definitely right okay so got our pink paint move those out of the way for the moment so i've got space to roll out Going to take hold of our sugar paste and we're going to roll this out. So we've got, now we're not going to make the snowman pink. We're going to do a white snowman. We're going to give him a pink hat. So that's why we've got this out. In fact, I'll do that after I've done the gull up. So we'll do the glove first. So this is the mini mitten. This is one of our new cutters. And we're going to press that down and give it a little wiggle like through to make sure it's cut through and take that away just going to put that to one side for the moment and that's a part of a set of two it is part of a set of two so we've got one mini one which goes on top of the cupcakes which is this one and then we have a much larger one which um will do large cupcakes basically won't it count no, it's just a big cookie it's a big cookie yes yeah, one need? big cookie so i was just looking for my lovely brush Royal Ice Brush. No, it's here. I've got it. I've already used it once, so it can't be far away. Right, so we're just going to put a little bit of icing on here. Now, we've been using things like edible sheets and that to sort of make patterned gloves. So we've got like Santa and reindeer, cats um, in stockings, all sorts of different things, Christmas stockings. Gonks. And we've got gonks ones as well. So if you wanted to make a patterned glove, then you could do that. Let's pop that on there like so. Give that a bit of a whirl and then we've been taking the royal icing and i'm going to just switch the nozzle over for a second so i've currently got him here what have i got in here at the moment wilton three so we're just going to undo the adapter and we will use what's this one let's find wilton 18 where's my favorite one i haven't got it no no i've got it one you got one yeah Okay, Wilton 18, which will go on there. Okay, I'll hold that on there Don't like that. Don't you want to do the Whisper Pink first? Oh yeah, good plan. Sorry, I forgot that. Yeah, let's do the Whisper Pink first. Very good Trump. idea, Kelly. Do you want to do it that way? Yeah, we can do. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, no, we'll do it that way. That's fine. Right, let me grab a little bit of Drex for this. Tiny bit of track. Sorry, I've got so many bits and pieces to do this evening. We've got stuff everywhere. So we're going to just take a very small amount of white fat or treks, and I mean a very small amount, nothing too drastic, and just pop that over the top of your little glove, like so. I'm going to get out um, some kitchen mold so I don't end up getting this everywhere, which I probably will. And then I'm going to take hold of a fluffy brush. I'm going to pick up some of the Whisper Pink in my brush like this. And then I'm literally just going to go straight over the top of my glove. And what's going to happen is the dust is going to stick to the um, treks. That's what's going to happen, you can see. And we're going to get a very nice shimmery glove. So we're going to work that across there like so. Don't need very much to do it but it will just make it stand out from the rest of the icing. So I'm just trying to catch that. There we go, thought there was something there. Okay. 
nice and glittery. Can you see that? Oh, wow. Yeah, that really shows up well. It's very there. glittery, isn't it? Right. OK, not glittery. Shimmery is the right word for that, isn't it? And then I'm going to take my royal icing and then I'm going to just make a little cuff to go across there. So I'm just going to take my little nozzle here and just make a fluffy sort of cuff to go across here. It's giving high fashion. High fashion cuff here. Well, no, I mean like the pink sparkly glow. Yeah, exactly. There we go, like so. And then if you want to, if you want to sort of coordinate things, you could put little snowflakes in place onto the glove. Or onto the cuff. Or onto the cuff. We could put them onto the cuff. Do Why don't you use white pearls on the cuff? I am going to use white pearls on the cuff. So we're going to put in a couple of snowflakes just on the cuff there. And then we can take some of the little white sprinkles again, the prowls. Uh, we can just drop those into the cuff as well. That looks quite pretty, a bit snow-like. It just gives it a little bit more texture. OK, right, let's move this onto another cupcake. So we've got that out of our way. So we're knocking them off now as we go. Here we go. Right. So we're on a pink run at the moment that's what we're doing so around we go make sure that's all covered like so and again we'll take hold of the icing i just got hope we've got enough icing to get through this that's what oh i'm god please don't say that mm -hmm. i am saying that i think actually i've got it right down to the end just okay there's another one and then we can pop our glove onto the top like so and i think with this one we pink go christmas tree. sorry pink christmas tree. you want the pink christmas tree mix okay yeah. for this one we're going to use this one then which is the pink christmas tree sprinkle mix which is another mix that we've got and it's pink and it's pink and we can go around and we can put some little balls on there that are in pink and it's also got sort of um snowflakes in here as well and the little white perales and the white perales are in there so we can pop some of those on, have some slightly more decoration on the cupcake this time because the um, mittens... Well, the gloves are quite simple, you know. Exactly, so we can put some different ones on there. Can have a little play around with those. Let's sort of sit down while I put it. Thank you very much. There we go. And then we've got another little one there with... So it's a tiny little mitten there. Okay, so that's, that's really another... Sweet. You like that one? Mm -hmm. So that's another Christmas mitten pink one so that's another one for our pink collection okay let's move that over there like so and then we'll move on again we're going through these quite rapidly but it just shows how quickly that you can do them but it does show how quickly you can move but them. even if you did a box of 12 the same or even 12 different ones you can get it done quite quickly yeah this is what we're trying to show you is how many cupcakes you can do very very quickly so if someone turns around and why um so you're coming over tomorrow for christmas and you go oh my god i haven't bought them a present yeah what do i do whack out box of cupcakes, box of cupcakes. instant cupcakes Right, we're going to do the snowman now. So we move on to the snowman. So we're going to um, cover him in white sugar paste to start with. So the snowman is part of a set of two. So this is the small one. So one goes on a cupcake and the other one is just for a large cookie. Do you cookie. want a size comparison or not? Um, I don't know. Can you see the other large one nearby? Yes. Okay, well, if you can see it, that's fine. There we go. We'll pop that on there. And then we're going to take our little snowman... And we'll pop them on there like so, press down, we'll go round like so. That's the large one, that's the small one. And they come in a set of two, okay? So he's cupcake size and then this one obviously is bigger for kind of cookie size. We'll take that off like so. Take him out. He's very sweet. You can see he's so little and cute. Probably guess a little bit more by the size of my hand if I hold him, you see how small he is. Right, then what we'll do is we'll take some more of the icing take a bit more royal icing pop that on top of the snowman and resist singing the song what song a, a famous disney song about snowmen that i will not be singing because i get chucked off facebook okay <laughs> would you want <laughs> to make a snowman a icy person <laughs> 
Right, okay, there we go. Right, so we are going to sprinkle our snowman. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave his hat for the moment and we're going to take hold of some of this royal icing, although it needs a little bit more water in it because it's a little bit more runnier than it is at the moment. No, no, I've got it all next to me. I'm She's so prepared. Like the prepared, organised person that I am not usually. Um, we're going to go across his body but not his hat with a little bit of... Oh, God. Someone's put, we're walking in the air. Now. <laughs> oh, no, please don't talk about that film. No, <laughs> or the not... stage show is more the, the problem. Stage... I went through a stage of one Christmas where my piano teacher just made me learn that song. No other song. And um, <laughs> oh, mum well. decided, well, it was me, all oh, four was of it us. the piano teacher? We went to um, London and dad and Charlotte went off to go see a complicated murder mystery. A bit too Called difficult. The Mousetrap, but it's not that difficult. Oh, well, it's probably for us. And um, we went to see The Snowman, except from the fact it was a two and a half hour long show. Silent, Silent show. Silent <laughs> show. But they just kept playing that song over and over and Couldn't over wait to again. leave, could we? Yeah. Right, so I've painted The Snowman. I've put some sprinkles into my... Lid. Lid. And then I'm just going to take my snowman and I'm going to press him down. So then you get like a proper snowy snowman. So you get a proper snowy snowman. Okay, so you'll get the majority on there. And then what you'll have to do is just pick up the rest. I suspect. Hold on, let me grab it. And then just fill up the rest of it. With your, you might like the gaps, but if you don't like the gaps, then you'll just need to... If you're a perfectionist like mum. If you're a perfectionist like me and you want it covered properly, then you'll just need to... You can to... always make like mini brooms and things to put in their hands, you know. Yeah, you could get up to all sorts with this. They could have the mini gardening tools in their hands. Oh can't? yeah, that would be cute. Okay, there we go. Organised. Okay, so have got a little snowman with his little perels on there. Like that. Let's put that down. Oh, just one missing there, so I've got to put that in there. It's going to drive me crazy otherwise. Right, let's put these back in there so I don't end up knocking them over. Have we got the little four, the two mil black ones in there? Two mil black. The two mil black. Oh, even better. Right, so we've got two mil black pearls, which we can use as eyes if we particularly want to. So you can literally pop those on. All you need to do is get the other ones out of the way. Or you could paint them in. Or you could paint them in. We're just going to pop them in because they're easier to do this way. Like so. There we are. Look at that. Do Don't that. get them confused with the four mil ones or they might have really big scale. Yeah, eyes. these are the two mil. And then we sell a four mil. Be careful. Which are oh, listed I've got as... another snowman here who's got four mil on They're it. listed as cookie eyes, okay. these ones. So what are the other ones listed as? These are... Two mil. Oh, well, we'll deal with him in a minute. No, I mean just to show the comparison. Yes, yeah, we'll compare them in a second. And then for his buttons, we can also use these as well. So we can just push them in amongst these little white perels because they'll just move out of the way, hopefully. There we go. And they'll embed into the sugar paste. So that should all work. Except that one's gone in the wrong place. Of course it has. Right, let me get my... You have to cooperate me if you're on a live. Isn't that right, Kelly? Mm. There we go. Nothing like playing with sprinkles on a live. Oh, that and um, mass dusting of cakes is another thing. Right, there we go. So I've made his little buttons there, like so. Okay, and then the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to, we'll make him a little nose, but we'll do it out of sugar paste and then we'll just paint it oh, on. Oh, well that's why I gave you the tone. Orange, yeah, no, it's fine. So I'm just going to make a little cone, actually a little tiny cone. You could actually pipe it on if you particularly wanted to, but I'm just going to roll a little bit of sugar paste and then let me just grab paintbrush again, another one. And then we'll put the glue on the nose rather than on the perels because if we put them on the perels it's just going to lift 
It's got quite a big nose, but that's okay. Yes, he's got a huge nose, but there we go. It's got a lot. It's got a very big carrot nose, this one. Right, let's put that down there. This is when you realise your fingers are absolutely huge. Like that. <coughs> and then, sorry. bless you Kelly, and then we can... <coughs> bless you. And then we can paint his nose with the orange, because we've got some orange dusting colour on the go. So we'll just grab a little bit of that. And then we'll just paint this bit here. Just get it to stick. There we go. There's his little nose. And then for his hat, all we need to do is just paint it um, pink. Because we're on the pink colour scheme. Because we're obsessed with the colour pink. We're obsessed with the colour pink this evening. So we're going to go back to the ice pink. Oh, that's so cute. Sorry. That's all right. Ice pink sorbet colour. And there we go, you can have a pink hat. Can I side note quickly? Mm -hmm. If you're doing like a one colour set of something, so pink or blue, it's good to have two types, like two different versions of the colour, like a really dark pink or a darkish pink and then a really light one because it breaks it up. Yeah. Rather than it being all whisper pink and really light pink because then you kind of lose elements in it. Just for planning or anything. So if you if you say you want to do a blue set, maybe whack out a frozen blue and a cerulean blue. Because you can always add white into the colours or you can make them darker. But just varying with the two colours makes like a better set of, with depth and it makes it more interesting. And then we've got, so that's the large one and that's the small one. So we're just showing you a comparison here. So that's the cupcake one. This one is the large one. So this one's got the same base in terms of the Pirelles, but this has got the four millimetre um, uh, black pearls, whereas that's got the two on it. So just be careful that if you are doing the mini ones, you make sure you get the mini... Um, and if you don't have the mini two mil, you can just paint them on, use a dotting tool. Yeah, you can always paint them on if you want to do it like that. Okay, so we're going to take him away because he's just here for comparative reasons. Sorry. That's okay. okay. That and then we're just going to grab another cupcake. And of course, guess what colour it's going to be? It's going to be pink. It's going to be pink. Another pink one. Right. Okay, let's grab some more icing. I think we've just about got enough to do it. I think I've got this down, to the, down to the wire, literally. Okay, so we grab... Some more pink, put that over our cupcake. So at the end, if you've joined us later on, we'll get all the cupcakes together in their sets and then you'll be able to see what we've done. So hold on everybody. I'm just gonna make sure I've got enough icing in here. I'm just gonna scrape the bowl out because I'm getting close to the end here of the pink ones and I'm running out of icing. Right. Okay. Didn't realise we we're going to go through the quite... snowman is very cute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like the snowman. Snowman's my favourite colour this year. You like that one, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Right. Let's go. I'm probably going to have an air bubble in the middle of this because I've just put some more icing in, so it's probably going to go pop. There you go. Actually, that wasn't too bad. It's not disrupted everything. Don't say that yet. Okay, whoops, there we go. And then we'll take our little snowman and we'll pop him on top. There we go. Of our little pink selection here. And then we'll pop some more snowflakes on. Like that. Go. Oops, drop one. Got an escaping snowflake sprinkle there. It doesn't want to cooperate with me. Those snowflakes, they go with who want. I know, exactly. There you go. So let's lift that Aww. one up so you can see that one there. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just watching you try and pick that snowflake. I know, I'm hopeless. Right, so there you go. So that's the snowman one. So that's another little pink. That's my favourite. Someone likes the gonk, that's their favourite. Yeah. And that is the little mini snowman. So or should I say like the mittens? 
the mittens what you do I'm mitten mad, aren't I? yeah you are okay so that is the um pink set so far we may go back and add a couple more but we're going to keep going for the moment and we're going to move on to the more traditional set so well they won't be traditional if it's got anything to do with me but now traditional, <laughs> traditional colors so what i'm going to do now so we have made some using some transfer sheets that we have got in stock so a transfer sheet is an acetate sheet that's got cocoa butter on that's sprayed onto the sheet um i've got one down here somewhere actually let me grab one that's what they look like there we go um you'll also hear me explain it on the video as well and it has a pattern on it which you then put chocolate onto and then once it sets, it imprints onto the sugar paste and then um, it can be used then on our decorations. So I've got a couple of videos to show you now, which gives me a little bit of time just to have a mini tidy up and you'll be able to see how we have done the transfer sheets. So we have used um, Calabao chocolate again and we have followed a chocolate tempering method, which you'll find on our YouTube channel, which is at Tracy Man Cakes. It is very important that if you are using Calabao chocolate or any Belgium chocolate that you do follow this basic tempering process. It isn't difficult to follow. You just need to make sure you follow the instructions so we're going to have a look at that first i'm looking at my camera thinking which way round is my video <laughs> so hopefully they're around the right way so we'll see how we go so i'm going to just show you how to do the transfer sheet center so these are the transfer sheets they are great big large sheets that have a cocoa butter pattern on them as you can see so this one here has got little reindeer stockings all sorts of things on there this one has got holly and candy canes so you can see that on there and what i've done is i've just taken um my cutter here put it onto the transfer sheet drawn around it and created myself two little circles now if you feel the transfer sheet on one side it feels rough that's the side that the pattern's on and that's the side we've got to put our chocolate onto so the chocolate that we're using is calabao so it's a belgian chocolate that has been correctly melted so we have a video on youtube that you can follow that shows you how to do this it's um, full power 30 seconds and then it's 10 seconds stir 10 seconds stir until it's completely melted so i'm just going to take a little bit of the chocolate out of here and i'm going to pop it onto the transfer sheet like so just spread it across like that give it a second i'll do the same with this one and then I'm going to move them. Now I'm going to move them so that I get my circular shape back. So at the moment, sort of the chocolate's going to set sort of straight over the top of my whole design. And I would like it to be a circle. So if I pick it up like so, and then just move it, I will get near enough a circle. Now I've got, um, I'm going to be piping around the edge of these. So they don't have to be completely perfect. But if we can get them as round as possible, then that would be great. Another thing you can do is isolate elements of the transfer sheet. So I've got some chocolate now in a piping bag and I've literally just taken off the very, very end. So I was on camera there, the very, very end of the sheet. And all I'm going to do, rough side up, just check, is just pipe over the top of the candy cane. So I'm just going to pick those out like so and this will make me little tiny chocolate candy canes I'll go across there. Like so. so i need to make sure my nozzle isn't too thick otherwise it will pick up everything else around it and i just want to pick up the little candy canes or some of them anyway so i can go around like that i've done this once before like i picked up little tiny penguins if anyone remembers that cake and if you don't remember that cake it's on my youtube channel so you will be able to go across and watch it um then if i wanted to pick up anything else then i can obviously go through and just pipe little bits and pieces there until i've got everything i need then oh the video stopped i didn't even notice then i was so busy getting the next bit ready right okay let's have a look at the transfer sheets now so they've been in the fridge they've had 20 minutes actually they've had a bit longer than that to set because we went home in between um and then all you're going to do once they have set is you are literally just going to peel the back off like that and then the pattern has come off the sheet and there's now on the chocolate so we've got ourselves some very nice round pieces of chocolate here we're not too worried about the rough edges because we're going to be covering those up so this one here is called cozy christmas which is a really nice pattern there you can see the shine on this as well it's really lovely 
And this one here is called Holly and Canes. We do two different transfer sheets. Be very careful with this because we also do one called Hats and Canes. So depending on which one you want, just keep an eye on that so you don't end up with the wrong one. OK, right. Uh, back to the cupcakes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these onto the cupcakes now so I don't end up doing something I regret, like breaking them. So I'm going to bring over the green icing. So we're going more traditional now, even though this is not really a traditional way of making cakes. Traditional colours. Traditional colours. So we're going to put some green on there. I'm just going to lift the camera up a little bit because we are quite close and I'm having a job to actually get my hand underneath the camera. So we're going to just put some green icing on there, like so. And then I'm just going to put an extra bit of green in the centre just to hold up the bit there. And I'm just going to pop that on there like that. I'm not going to press it down too hard because what I don't want to do, let me just bring this back here a little bit. What I don't want to do is end up with uh, squashing that bit in the middle because it's slightly concave. So I'm going to just leave that like that. And then I'm going to do the same with the other one. So I'm just going to take hold of the green icing again. So this is Colour Splash Leaf which is a colour I really like. Go all the way around, like so. And again, a little bit more in the middle, just to help prop it up a little bit. And then we'll pop that on top there like that. And then I don't have to worry that I'm then going to break them because that's completely possible. So if you want to um, make just toppers like that, you can do that. But of course, we're not going to do that. We're going to go further than that. So I'm going to put these out of the way now. And then we're going to bring in one of these. Now, he is super tiny. I'm going to show you where he's come from. So we have got a sheet of mini chocolates that are called, what are they called, Kelly? Assorted minis. Sorry. Christmas. When you said mini chocolates, it threw me off. Yes, Christmas. I think we just call them Christmas minis. Christmas minis. So we have on here, there are little tiny chocolates. There's a great big tray of them, like so. Mini chocolate Christmas decorations. There's a tiny, tiny little snowman. So if you thought my last snowman was small, there is a super, super tiny oh, little one. snowman. We also have a Christmas boot. There's the Christmas boot. There is, what's that, bells. So there's Christmas bells on there. And a Christmas tree. Kelly, you're fidgeting, what's the matter? Well, I was going to see if I can try and find them. Find what? Find the little chocolate ones are decorated. No, we've used them. Oh. We used them ages ago. Sorry. And then we've got Father Christmas, and that's the one we're going to be painting this evening. So these are really good, if, again, for cupcakes or anything you particularly want to do that's very small. And they're good if you have a bit of leftover chocolate. Bit I always say, rather than like leaving it in a bowl and then cracking it and using it later, you may as well just fill up some moulds like bows or stars or like theirs. And they're nice little add-ons, don't you think? Yeah, so I'm going to bring that down as low as I possibly can. I'm hoping I can give you the best view possible because it obviously it is very small um, for me and for you. So um, we're going to use paintbrush number one to start with. We're just going to clean it up a little bit. Just take some of the pink out, although it doesn't really matter because the first colour we're going to use. We'll probably do the white first, actually, so that he can start standing out on camera a bit quicker. So we're going to grab some of the white dusting colour. and We'll just do his beard, which is down here. And then hopefully he will be more visible on screen <laughs> homemade advent calendars that's a good oh, idea that is such a if you go i'm going to give you a tip here if you go to we went last night didn't we hobby kelly craft. go How to we go to hobby craft. craft we went to hobby craft last night go to hobby craft and in there they've currently got make your own advent calendars now because we're already in december now they're really cheap they were Two pounds? Two pounds, I think. For they were. like a fill-in advent calendar. For one that you could fill in. So go and get one for next year. Get hold of this mould. And then next year you can make your own advent calendar by sitting and making these little pieces. And even if you don't paint them, because if you think about it, when you open those things like the advent calendars that um, come out of the shops, they are just little shapes. We're only... is, some of them are quite similar to these. Do you yeah, they are. That? Yeah, I do. So we're just going to paint Father Christmas on here. I think you painted Father Christmas, did you? I did paint Father Christmas, yes. We, if you remember anyone from last year, when is there ever a leftover chocolate? There isn't. But 
Uh, last year we made mini gingerbread houses. We used these as the, the main the decoration. Main decoration, yes. Yeah, so if you want to make mini gingerbread houses, then um, you could certainly do something like that. I'm just going to grab a tiny bit of Whisper Pink here with a bit of white. I'm just going to try and paint his face, hopefully not detrimentally with Whisper Pink. He might have a slight glimmer about him, maybe he's been using some blusher or something. Okay, and then... This is one of the more fiddlier cupcakes because you know we've said as we've been going through the live some of them are going to come together really quickly, some of them are going to take a bit longer, this one takes a little bit longer um, but it's nice to see ones that are more detailed and then see ones that are a little bit more basic. So just put a little and he's got some white going across there as well which I nearly painted red. So going across that and then we'll just Actually, we don't need to take the white out of it. We'll use the white in here. Let's grab a bit more cocoa butter. There we go. And then we can paint his hat. Let's turn him round. Brush him my hand. And then we'll paint Santa's hat. So don't forget, we're doing all our painting with cocoa butter, not because we have some in the cupboard, but because cocoa butter is the thing you need to be painting with if you are painting on chocolate. If you try and do it with gels or pastes or anything else, it's going to fall off. It's as simple as that. So you do need to be using cocoa butter um, and you just need to keep it warm, which is what we've got going on here, in order for you to be able to paint with it. OK. You've got any questions during the live do please ask as well i'm here because kelly is here to answer anything that she can see that she can answer and we will do what we can to so i'm going to just fluff that bit up along there a bit and then we have got to put the eyes in now what we'll do here is we will grab some of the black and we'll make up a little bit of black paint We'll put a little bit of white in there as well so it's not too harsh. So a bit more like dark grey, I guess, rather than black. And then we can use one of our dotting tools to put his eyes in. So our dotting tools look like this. They look, they're actually used for like nail art and stuff. They've got little tiny um, balls on the end of them and they're very good for you doing eyes in cake decorating. So if you just take your dotting tool, sorry, my hand's in the way of the camera, take your dotting tool and put it into the paint and then you can put it straight on top of the chocolate like so and it saves you having to use a paintbrush and you get it exactly circular like so and there you go there's little father christmas he's all painted and ready to go so he's very small he's very cute um it does take a little bit of time but again if you were painting a load of them together you could do it very very quickly it wouldn't need to take as long as i'm taking um over this particular one i'm just gonna clean my brush up for a second and grab a little bit more pink just fill in that gap there like so because I still see a bit of chocolate okay there he is and he'll go on as part of our another cupcake right okay so I have got him down for the Holly and Canes one I think okay yeah I have right so we'll bring him in let's bring this up a little bit higher again so it's not on top of me there we go we'll bring that back a bit there we go, we can see now. Just tip that back my way a little bit because I'm my hands are literally like as much as far away from me as I can get. There we go. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take hold of this bag that I've just put in the pink. And uh, we've got Wilton 18 nozzling here, and we're going to go round. I wonder what we're making. And I wonder what we're making. And we're not going to say, are we, Kelly? No. After Saturday. We are going to do a lovely swirl around the outside edge here. There we go. So we're on the more traditional ones now, ish. Not really that traditional, traditional in colour, I guess. As in design, we're going full on different, but as in colour scheme, they're more traditional looking. So we're going round like so. There 
we go very nice isn't that lovely just without that you don't need to do anything else it just looks lovely now if you remember from the video we did also have these little mini canes that we made so you could take these and you could stand them up around the outside edge of this cupcake if you want to i think they're quite cute just waiting for kelly's approval I think she, you should be earlier. Yeah, I think, no, I meant on the cupcake. I'm showing you on the cupcake, have I? Yeah, they look cute. They look very cute, don't they? They just make it look a little bit more 3D. They're not that difficult to do, are they? Only a little bit of piping. Um, the other thing I've got to do, which I'm going to just do quickly, I'm just going to put the cupcake there while I do this. Okay, and we are going to just paint this little bow here red so I'm going to just grab my paintbrush what have I got here paintbrush three probably yes I have paintbrush three because I'd like a red bow on there so we'll paint the little red bow so we have got a bows uh, a mo uh, that. No, 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 no. <laughs> a bow mold we've got a bow mold haven't we Kel yeah. um and on the bow mold there are quite a lot of bows how many of those are there Kelly there are 24 24 bows on a mould. Yeah. Okay, so lots of lovely, lovely little bows here. So if you want to make these little wreath cupcakes, then you can make a whole tray of bows and then you can have these on here as well. And you can paint them lots of different colours. We're going to paint this one red. Because it's traditional. In fact, I'm going to paint two of them red. Right, I'm going to just move that out of the way just for a second while I just turn this around. So you can dye your chocolate red if you particularly want to, but I just can't see the point. When I've made up a load of white, I might as well just paint it. It's nice and quick. Doesn't take very long. Dries really quickly. Job done. Okay, we'll do that one. We'll just do another one as well. And then the lovely dotting tool will be back out again in a minute because I'm going to have to put some spots on these. It will be unavoidable. In fact, we're going to need several red bows. Might even need to do another one. So we'll whiz over these quickly. So I'm on red bow mission now. Could do a gold one, I suppose, couldn't I? Yeah. As an alternative. Maybe I'll do a gold one for the cosy Christmas one. I'll keep this one for the other one that I've got to do. Okay. Like so. And down there. Going down that side. So yeah, we've got a bow mould on the website. Um, as with everything now, I know it's the 6th of December today. There are how many days till Christmas, Kelly Man? If it's the 6th, then it's 19. 19 days. It's probably going to take 19 days, the way the post is going at the moment. Um, so please, there is going to come a point where I mean, you need to get on and order them because if you want them to do this because um, of the delays at the post office. Right, so I'm just thinking of the other one I've got to do. I don't think the other one needs a bow. Um, OK, we'll leave it like that for the moment. And if I need another one, I will paint another one. Right, let's bring this cupcake back in again. There it is. Lovely, very happy. And then what we'll do is we will take hold of a little bit of extra buttercream. Just put a bit more on the back there and we'll pop that. Oh no, we won't because I forgot to put the dotting tools on it. You forgot to remind me, Kelly. What? <laughs> forgot to put the dots on. You always have to have a dotty bow, don't you? I do have to have a dotty bow, yeah. But also I've painted this back of this really badly and I need to do it again. So let me just improve the look of this at the back that's better sooner i picked it up i could see the back have i done the other one the same no the other one's not as bad there we go that's better let's do the one that's uh currently drying so we'll grab this dotting tool again and a little bit of white and then we're just going to put some spots on this bow here going full mickey mouse here Famous mouse, we should say. 
it's not a mouse, it's a, a rat which is owned by a company that owns with Smithney. <laughs> okay, so I'm not getting us blocked. No. Okay, I'll turn that round. So you can vary the size of these dots according to which dotting tool you're using. So some of the dots are bigger than others. And we do have them in stock at the moment, unbelievably. Managed to get some things in. Oh, he went in the whisper pink then. Let's get the colour around the right way. Okay, and along there as well. We don't need to go inside the bogues. Don't forget that's um, the inside of it. Not We don't need to make that bit spotty. Let's do this one now, so that one will have dried. We'll repeat that process, just doing a few little dots on there as we go. Okay, like so. See how quick it is it doesn't take very long at all and you could make all these up in advance you don't need to leave everything till christmas week to do this i noticed a lot of people are now um sending me pictures of their christmas cakes and stuff so i know there's a lot of cake production underway so especially as there should be as there should be so if you're doing a fruit cake and all that decorating stuff you can crack on with it now you don't need to wait any longer and if you're making biscuits usually on the actual week of Christmas isn't it biscuits right okay here we go so we have got our cupcake back finally you're going to get finished you are okay and then we'll take hold of our little bow and we'll pop that on there like so and then we'll take Father Christmas and we'll just put a little bit of buttercream on the back of him and we'll pop that one into the middle so there is quite a lot going on this particular cupcake however it's very different and I think it's really worthwhile, this one. I think he looks really sweet. The other thing you can do as well, of course, is add lovely little Pirels if you want to put a bit of a snowy effect on there. So we can get our little white Pirels and just go around the outside edge with them. Like that. Just put them on. They're going to go everywhere. Of course they are. But you can just put a few of those on there as well. That's a cute one, isn't it? You like that one? Yeah. That appeals to you, Cal, does it? Yeah. Well, it was my idea, this one, so... Oh, oh God, here she goes. <laughs> okay, so there's that one here. All right. So that's another cupcake. So that's one of the traditional sets. So we'll pop that over and out of our way in a second. And then we'll bring this one back in, which is called uh, Cozy Christmas. Is this one here and we're going to keep this one pretty much focusing on the transfer sheet in the middle so we're going to go round the outside edge of this one with our Wilton 18 so you can see we're covering up the edge as we go so you don't need to worry about any rough edges or anything because they will all disappear like so Oh, my hand's gone to sleep. Sorry, I've just got. <laughs> I've just got to move my hand a second. There we go. Okay, like that. And again, you could put the patterns kind of facing this way, and there is actually a bow on there, so you could put a little bow on there. And then again, you could just use even the snowflakes. I think keep this one quite simple. What about the Christmas tree necklace? No, I'm going to do that no. on the next one. So we just put on little white snowflakes on this one I think just keep it nice and simple and we'll focus on the pattern in in the middle and you can imagine then if someone bites into that they're going to be oh what is this you know and they're oh it's a bit of chocolate how nice so it's quite quite a nice decoration to do in the center there we go okay there's another idea for you Donna says it gets overwhelming just say to her imagine what it's like inside my head <laughs> I know, I know. Tell me about it. That's all I'm going to say. 
Okay, right, we've done that one. Let's have a little move round of things. And um, we're gonna bring in our mini hat. What I've gotta do now is find, there we go, I've got some red. I knew I'd made some red up. What do you need? The mini hat, what's happened to it? Oh, it's mini here, it's hat. next to me. Oh no, we were gonna do the um, owl instead, weren't we? Don't look at me like that. What are you talking about, <laughs> mini hat? What's that all about? This one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're going to do the owl instead. Right, so the owl has come up from our, we had this at Halloween. Halloween. Halloween, we had the owl. So what I need to check is that we've still got some actual heat under here. Yeah, just about. <laughs> if we run out of heat, we've had it. And cocoa butter. Have you moved it, Kelly? No. Yes. No, I haven't. Did you put it in the tray? No. You put it in the tray. Did I haven't I? stood up since you've done it. Right, we'll put that in there. And then we want some brown. Should we go white or brown? Let me go white. Mm. Yeah, let's go white. Let's go Hedwig. Let's go full Harry Potter style. Obviously not the exact thing because that's naughty. We'll go style. So let me grab what brush is this? Paintbrush two, that'll do. Right, let's clean this brush up and then what we'll do is we'll paint this owl as a white snowy Christmas owl and we'll put him in a branch on a cupcake. How about that? Let's do that. Okay, there we go. All right, let's find the brown. Oh no, we're going to do white. Why do I keep saying brown when doing white now? I know, I've changed my mind, didn't I? Let's take that out where this has come from. So we're on the dregs of heat, I think, here on this candle. Despite it being a full candle, I think it's very slowly burning itself out. But never mind, I'll keep going. There's some green in here somewhere. Let me get rid of that. It's like green owl at the moment. There we go. Otherwise, I'll tell you what, Kelly, you can stand here with a match. Eating the cocoa butter. <laughs> right. well, lighten a bit of a kitchen roll under there. Yeah, lighten a bit of kitchen roll. So what we're going to do is we're just going to paint the whole thing white. So we're not going to worry about sort of trying to do anything specific. We're just going to go straight over with white. Like that. So we have a white towel. A barn owl? Is that what you're no, it's a snowy owl, isn't it? Sorry. The barn owls are brown, I think. I don't know. Yeah, this is a snowy owl. So we're going to go straight over the whole thing. Then we'll go back and do his eyes and his, his feet, etc. Because you can easily paint over this, you see, once it's dry. Especially if it's white. Especially if it's white. We'll go around this side. So this came out of a Halloween set, which at the time we said, oh, well, actually, you could um, use this to paint an owl all year round. So that's why we're using this one again. I don't think we've got that many of these in stock. That's the only thing with this one. So you've got a multi-use one again. Another multi-use one, that's it. Right, so that's that. Then I can't remember what I was supposed to do. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> well, it's been since Halloween. I've painted it since Halloween. So my, I'm thinking, having to think hard on my feet here. Or sat down, rather. Okay, so let's take some black. Put a little bit of white into it, just so it's not too dark. And then I'm just going to go around this part of the eye here. Okay, and then we'll just do some little markings on his, I think I did it on the wings. Just do some little down there. He's got very big scary eyes at the moment, but that'll change in a minute because he's going to have to have some white put in the middle. At the moment he looks a bit terrifying. 
Trust the process. Trust the process. That's what Kelly says, isn't it? Yeah. Right, and then we'll grab some. Everything's got to go through its ugliest stage. And then we'll just paint his feet at the bottom. Like that. What colour should we do his beak, Kelly? Colour of barn owl's beak. No, black. it's not. No, it's not a barn owl. Right, We've been okay, through this. <laughs> so, no, so it'd be black, it wouldn't be orange, would it? No, that's what I'm saying. It would look weird if we do it orange. So we'll do it dark grey. Like so. I think he has little um, bits of colour in the top of his head as well. His certain owl. Mm -hmm. Can't remember off the top of my head, but anyway, it'll be fine. Last time I painted. Your dad would be so disappointed. Well, last time I had a picture of him in front of me. I haven't this time, so we'll guess. There we go. Right. Okay. Now we'll get our dotting tool back out again. Hopefully, we've got one with a wider end. Ooh, have I got one that's got a wider end on it? Hmm. This one's okay. Let's see what it does. So we'll go round into our white and then we'll go into the centre of the owl's eye. Except there's a hole there just to annoy me. And the hole there. So I've got half a ton of paint going up the dotting tool and sort that out. There we go. And we'll put the second dot to the right. That's better. It doesn't look quite so terrifying then. Well, I think this is, a, like we said, a good Harry Potter one. Yeah. It's a good multi-use mould. Okay, let's grab that. More green. So I'll put some more green on here. He could be on a navy blue background. That would look nice as well. Mm -hmm. but again, we're trying not to... He's a good on a dark green background as well. Yeah, well, we're going dark green. Okay, <laughs> he would look good on a. Mm. And then I'm just going to take a tiny bit of sugar paste, not a huge amount. I'll grab some brown, which I will have to leap across to the other side of the room to get. Hopefully, this won't go all over my hands, but it probably will. Okay, so I'll grab some little bits of brown. dye that brown using colour splash dark brown hopefully there's actually some colour in it Let's... there we go give that a bit of a mix see I always end up with it all over my hands no matter what I do by the time we I wouldn't fin... have it any other way we wouldn't we? have it any other way would we by the time I finish this I'm bound to be in all sorts of different colours Okay, and we're going to make a bit of a branch. I want it to be darker actually, so we'll go add a bit more. That's better. It's a bit watery, that one. I think it's it's well, I think it's coming to the end, that gel, into its life. trying to contain the gel but it's not really working I'm getting it all over the place now so I'm just gonna have to wash my hands in a minute oh dear I know oh dear That's what always happens oh dear right okay that looks branchy branch <laughs> colour <laughs> he laughing at my descriptions branch. branchy <laughs> right we're just gonna roll out something completely what we'll do is not improvised. Not improvised at all. Right, first thing we're going to do, we need to actually put some buttercream down on here. So let's do that. So we're just going to go around the cupcake with the same pattern that we did on the wreath, but we'll just do it all over the whole cake. Because I don't want to change nozzles. And it looks fine. And it's just a different way. OK, 
Okay. Round we go. Whoop. Okay, right, owl goes on. And then the idea, she says, now panicking. <laughs> Why are you panicking? I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm here for moral support. You're here for moral support, are you? So I don't want to end up with a branch that... There we go. Why don't you put some of... Love... I feel like it needs to go... I was going to put it under the owl. I feel like it needs to go up towards his feet. Like a Christmas branch that's got Christmas lights on it. Oh, yeah, good one. I'm going to cut the end off that bit there. I need to put another piece of branch on just down there, do you think? Yeah. So it's in a little V. Yeah. yeah. Like that? Yeah. Not like that, though. No. Yeah? Do you still need me for emotional support? Yeah, always. Okay, right. Just don't turn the camera around, otherwise people might get the shock of their lives. Okay, so there you go. Wow! All right. And then what do you want to do? Look, these, these. Right. Christmas lights on the branch. All right. So well, you, where's Christmas. your royal icing? I buried it somewhere. It's right uh, in front of you. No, I've there. got it in a container somewhere. It's here. Hmm? No, 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 I've got it in a bag. I've buried it. Right. I've got, that's the buttercream. That is the, that's the other no, buttercream. Used it all. No, I haven't. Because I've already used it today. Cause I oh, yeah, because you used it. Change the nozzles. I just I buried it. Can you just look over there? I'm going to start looking under here. Is it there? there? No. No, jumping out of at all. It's not under oh, there. Oh, God, this is always how our lives go. Okay, well, we can, I'll tell you what we'll do is we'll use the, the you keep looking, I'm going to use right. the more icing that's in here and we'll put a bit of a snowy effect going down this branch here. Have you found it? No. Oh. Well, I'll just do this with my brush. How about that? I bet once we finish the lovely day. We'll go there it is. Oh no, honestly. Uh, put this. Oh, there it is. Have you got it? Yeah, I've got it. Well, I get on quite well. I'm going to change it to a nozzle one or something. No, I don't know what's in there. What's in there? What an eighteen? No, it can't be. Oh yeah, well there's one next to me. This one here. Yeah, that's that. Thank you. And then just put the Chris make little Christmas lights or I something. I do quite well though, actually, with just the paintbrush. I think. All right. Yeah. But what we'll do is we'll put the... Someone ice. says we'll put some holly on it. I think you can do a lot with this one. Yeah. So we're going to just put some snow on top of the branch. But it's it. we need to make it Christmassy. So yeah, we're going to put the lights got on Got to it. chuck a bunch of lights on there and maybe some snowflakes. Well, the snowflakes be in the sky, won't they? Yeah. Uh, we'll put a bit of snow on there as well. No. Oh. It is a snow owl, not a barn owl. It is a snow owl, not a barn owl. Yeah, that's right. Just take some <laughs> of this icing off. Tracy, you bat on my head. Lots to choose. And then Kelly pipes up with poor choices. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Kelly, stop it. Right, and then we're going to put the Christmas lights on the tree, aren't right. we? So oh, we're God. using these. Sorry, I'll, I'll take over for Mum while she's got sugar paste. Sugar up to paste. My up to see. Up to these my are the Kelly's Sprinkles Christmas Mix. And then we'll put some of these on here. Whoops. That's why I got you out the nozzle. Thought it might be easier. No, I think no. it'll be like that. That's okay. That works. So it's got Christmas lights in the tree there, you see. How many Christmas lights, Kelly, do you think he needs? Oh, tons. You know, realistically. Tons. And that's going to be realistic. Except I nearly dropped him then. Right, you are getting rejected, Mr. Purple Sparkle, because you're not behaving. How about that? That's pretty good going, isn't it? Mm. There we go. Little owl in a in a tree. 
Right, moving on. <laughs> Such we have lots of ideas for you. Right, we are getting um, into my favourite part of the evening. <laughs> she says, oh, oh, oh. oh God, <laughs> more reads, everybody. Right, okay, so we've been doing lots of snow globes recently and we have had some very nice sheets. I'm going to hold this one up a bit so you can see it. Um, and these are the centres of the snow globes, but we have actually now been using them to do reeds. So if you have bought them and you've got a few left over or you haven't bought them because you don't want to do the snow globes and now you're going to see this, you're all going to want them. So this is a sheet of assorted mini centres. So we're going to start with this one. So I'm going to show you this one and then I'm going to show you the one I did um, at the weekend. So I'm just going to, I'm off screen at the moment. I'm just going to cut this out because I can't get it under screen at the same time. So you take the backing paper off. This is a little mini teddy. And then we're going to go round. Just like so. So it's an edible print. This is what this is. We don't want to get any water on this. Now, this is the mini snow globe sheet. We do set one and set two. I've linked them. Set one is the reindeers and the snowman, is it? Reindeers Penguin. and penguins. Penguin. And set two is the teddy, the Christmas cottage, all the other ones, basically. Uh, so there set it is. two is teddies, uh, gingerbread house, Santa Claus, uh, a winter cottage, cottage sorry. Gingerbread man with a sparkler and a snowman. Okay. So let's put that down there. The so tiny one. little bit of sugar paste here. So we'll just roll that out. Like so. And then I'm going to take a little bit of water and just pop that on there. So a very small amount of water. You don't want to put too much down. It's just enough to make it stick. And then I'm going to take, oh, nearly off screen here. Let's put that over there. In fact, we don't need, uh, do we need that cocoa butter thing? Did, no, did I make, um, yeah. Do you? No. No. Yeah. No. I need one more bow. Oh. Oh, I can do without the bow, actually, to be honest. We'll do it without the bow. <laughs> No, you want a bow, okay. No, no, we'll do a bow, absolutely, then we can move it. Okay, so we're just going to mount Teddy onto a little bit of sugar paste like that. There he is. I'm just going to pop him to one side for a second. And we're just going to paint up one more red bow because we need one more for this particular project. Let's grab one like that. And as we're running out of heat, because our candle is about to go out, we're going to do it very quickly. Otherwise, we're going to have no red bow. Oops. Let's make it a little bit thicker as well. I'll let it dry for a second. I need a bit more red powder, I think. There it is. I know it couldn't be far away. So this is just red dusting colour mixed with cocoa butter. By the time I've mixed this up again, the bow will be dry. And then I can paint it again just to get better coverage. Go, dab it on if you want to, anything just to get it on, like so, down the back. There we go. I'm trying to resist the white spots, but I'm going <laughs> I'm going Sorry. to fail. Oh, You're sneezing, Kelly. Yeah. Again. Right. I don't know why, I must have hay fever. Well, I think it's icing sugar. Probably. Okay, then we're going to put the white dots onto the bow again. I don't think you've got hay fever, I think you've just got um, icing sugar I'm flying everywhere. Okay. And round like that. I think we need this bow because it's going to match his little hat that he's got on his head justification yeah i'm trying to justify why i'm doing the bow anyway they're wreath cakes i'm allowed to okay i'm 
wax stuck on there. Turn that round. So if anybody places any orders, we will send them out tomorrow as soon as possible to try and give them the best chance to get there now. They more than likely will get there. They more than likely will get there, but we just want to try and give you the best opportunity we can to get everything there. So I've just missed the back of it there. Okay. Right, that's the little bow done. And back to the cupcake. Let me grab another cupcake. Okay. So let's get some green. And we'll pop that on there like this. So I've already done this with the other minis, which I'll show you in a second. So you can see how it looks with other mini centres. Like so. And then we'll take the mini. And we'll pop where we stuck to my board. There we go. We'll put him in the centre there. Like so. So I've gone off camera a little bit. Right, I'm just going to move the cocoa butter out of the way because I don't need that anymore. We so burnt the candle out. I am going to throw the candle out, yep. There we go. So don't forget, so Kelly and I don't get home and then remember what we've forgotten to do. There we go, that's better. Right. And let's move that there. Sorry, I'm just juggling things around a little bit. And then we're going to take hold of this Wilton 18 nozzle again and we're going to go round. Little rosettes. And we're basically going to make a teddy wreath cupcake. So all the way around. Like so. One more. Okay. And then we're going to use this Christmas tree sprinkle mix and we're going to just take some of the little items that are in here and we're just going to add them on here and decorate them like a little wreath that would go round the outside edge there. We've got little snowflakes as well so we can pop those in. Let's move that up there so you can see it a bit better. And so what we've done is use our little edible images here to make centres for these little wreaths. And then we can take our bow and we can pop that on the bottom there like that. Now, you cannot go wrong with that, I don't think. I think that is one of the seriously cutest uh, Christmas as tree, tell, as I'm very happy about this, as you can tell. Um, <laughs> Christmas cupcakes ever, ever made. Um, and I'm going ever to made. ever made, and I'm going to bring the other ones in that we did at the weekend, so you can have a little look at the comparisons that we did, so you can see what they look like. So we've also got the reindeer there, and then we've got another one there. Let's see if we can get them all in a line. We'll put the penguin in the middle because he doesn't have a bow. Okay the three of them together like that using those little images across there like so they are cute aren't they very very simple to make as you can see we are literally just using the snow globes um, and then just using some of the sprinkles to go around the outside edge the little bow mold which we've painted in red and then we've with added some dots. with some white dots and then we've put them all together like that so the images on the cupcakes are really um, different so there's cottages there's gingerbread men there's gingerbread snowmen. houses there's father christmas and there's snowmen so there's lots of different ideas there 
Um, I'm going to show you all of the cupcakes together now in the two different ways that we've done them this evening. So for those of you that joined us later, we did start off with a pink selection, but we're going to show you the traditional selection first. So I'm going to just remove these other two because they weren't part of this evening. And we have got the owl and we have got the transfer sheets and we've got a set of four there. Let's make sure they're on screen, which they are. There we go. So that's the set of four Christmas themed cupcakes that we've done this evening. OK, so we've got the owl, which we used from the Halloween set. We've got the teddy from the snow globe set. The little Santa in the middle is from the assorted mini set. And then these are transfer sheet centres that we showed you how to do on um, the video earlier. So you saw how to make those. OK, and then we're going to get the pink ones in. So we'll swap these over. I'm just going to have to move the buttercream out of the way in case I end up chucking it everywhere. Please. I know, honestly, I'll just move everything down that way. And then we'll bring in the other ones. Right, I'm going to swap these out so we don't get in a muddle. And then we'll bring in the pink ones. So earlier this evening, we did the pink ones as well. Let me just swap these around. Sorry, I'm just moving things here. They're in every way. You can imagine there's cupcakes everywhere. OK. Let's swap you around because you're a little bit taller. All right. And that's our little pink collection that we did at the start. So we did the new pink uh, gonk, which is the first one at the top left. Next one next to it was the chocolate bauble, which was painted in ice pink sorbet. And then we've got the mitten, which has been um, dusted with the whisper pink wonder dust. And then on the right hand side, we have got the little mini snowman, which we've Aww. made using the Pirels. They look very sweet. They look very set. sweet, don't they? So we'll probably take a picture of both sets and we will do our favourite set, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> um, people can have a little vote on that on Instagram. So if you do follow me on Instagram, we will put that up later on so you can have a look. But we always take pictures of everything we do on the lives anyway. And we will put it up at the end so that you can see um, everything that we've done. So that's the pink set and then we've got the green set as well. I don't know if I can get them all on the camera at the same time. I think I'm probably pushing my luck to try and get them all. I wouldn't squish them. Too. No, I think we're probably going to struggle. So we'll we'll have a hint of, there we go, hint of. a hint of it. Don't want to move that bow on that one. There we go. If I lift that up like that, how's that? There we go. That's not too bad, is it? I've got them all on. Yay. And you could always do a nice decorative cocoa butter painted board using patchwork cutters. You could. To display your cupcakes You on. could. Are you on commission with Marion? <laughs> Apparently now I am. Oh my God, honestly. Right, there you go. So that's our cupcake designs for this evening. So hopefully we've given you lots of ideas and inspired you to have a go. If you want to buy any of the bits and pieces to make these, you will find them on the website, traceyscakes.co.uk. Kelly... Still Oh, sorry. sorry. I was just going to say, you still have a lot of time to post. I'm someone who used to work in a post office. So even though the government make it sound all scary that there's so many postal backlogs and stuff, I can account, I can tell you now that more than likely will arrive. Yeah, it will pour. Because at, at Christmas there's overtime, so. There you go. So we'll definitely end up with you with bits and pieces there. Right, let me come back on screen here. Okay, so um, we're going to take some photos of the cupcakes shortly so that you can see them um, on the internet will make sure you can see them more clearly uh, this live will stay on youtube it will also stay on this page as well so you can go back and watch it so if you've just joined us um, and you've missed it all and you want to go back and recap then you can just watch this once this live is finished um, i will be live tomorrow at three o'clock on patchwork cutters club with um which is over another facebook page and i will be painting tomorrow afternoon at three o'clock we'll be back on let's shop cake live on saturday but we have yet to confirm a time yet because we've got a wedding cake to deliver as well we need to just tie that up with the venue um, but we will put that time up onto the facebook page thank you kelly thank you so kelly's been here this evening with us as well so thank you very much for your assistance you're welcome and now wash up 
Oh, good. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, we will see everyone um, tomorrow, Wednesday, 3 o'clock, or Saturday morning. We will be doing another Let's Shop Cake Live. So thank you very much, everyone who joined us. The website is there below. I've so linked it as She's well. linked it all and everything for you. So thank you very much. 